Sincerely do apologize for that hitch over there. But mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. The Bongo Balungo Bridge and Calvert, damaged in 2014, have been reconstructed. The reconstruction follows TV3 mission story on the effect the damage was causing to social economic activities in the area. Our Upper East Regional Correspondent Tanku Mohamed Rabiu was in the area after completion of works on the bridge. The Bongo district links Ghana to Burkina Faso. The main road connecting the country to its neighbors is the Balungu Highway. It has been left to deteriorate. The bridge connecting residents to Burkina Faso is washed off any time there is heavy rainfall. The result is that the district is deprived of revenue because trucks will not use the link. Instead, they go through Paga. Healthcare is also affected as patients are carried on tricycles due to the broken bridge. The gaping hole you see here was created by erosion. Now, this is a road virtually hanging. It links Bongo to Balungu and beyond. We're told that people who are traveling from the side of the Burkina Faso border to this part no longer wants to use here. It's just a matter of time and this will come down. I'm right under a road and vehicles would be passing right on top of me. Now this is really causing confusion because health workers are struggling to save pregnant women. Anytime they have to refer women from health centers across the bridge to the Bongo District Hospital, there is a challenge. The District Assembly, when mission visited Bongo in 2017, pledged to ensure rehabilitation of the bridge. Their plea hit the years of the roads ministry and the president cut the sword for its reconstruction in 2018. Contractors are working hard and the facility is almost at completion stage. It will link Bongo to Burkina Faso. It will also provide speedy access to health centers on the stretch. Referral of patients to the Bongo District Hospital will be easier as vehicles will ply the stretch. The assembly is optimistic the district will see more development with the completion of the bridge. Indeed, mission gets results. In other news, access to portable water is a major challenge facing healthcare workers at the Sakibidiako Chips compound in the Tungkatamansu municipality of the Greater Accra region. As a result, some residents have stepped in to supply water to the facility. Healthcare workers want the problem addressed so they can provide quality healthcare services to patients. The Sakibidiako Community-Based Health Planning and Services CHIPS compound falls under the Duchile sub-municipal, which is under the Tungkatamansu Health Directorate in the Greater Accra region. The absence of a government facility compelled the Municipal Assembly and Health Directorate to improvise by converting a shipping container into a health facility. It is an innovation for us in the municipality. We have realized that because there is no government facility there, it makes it difficult, especially for pregnant women, to go all the way to Tema. Currently, we have a midwife who is visiting the homes to identify pregnant women, also to conscientize them that we would be opening the place. The container at the moment is a standalone structure. It is not fenced. So working from such an environment is not conducive, but we are trying to. Currently, the Sakibidiako Chips compound renders primary health care services to residents, including antenatal services. At 8 a.m., a nurses here are ready to work. Today's clinic is dedicated to child welfare. The nurses here, though eager to work effectively, are faced with some challenges, including access to water. Due to the situation, nurses have to fetch water from nearby homes. Fortunately, neighbors are understanding and eager to provide water for the clinic. We are all in one community to help them. So every time they came here to collect water, I give it to them. That is not the only challenge facing the facility. We need to be connected to the ECG, the national grid. We are now using solar. We need a fridge for keeping our vaccines. Because of that, we have to go to Boom every morning to bring our vaccines here. The cold chain of our vaccines 
is not all that to our satisfaction. We need a Doppler, we need bed sheets, we need VP apparatus, weighing scale, we need educational materials that we can use in, to help us educate the mothers on a lot of issues. There's no washroom on the chips compound and once again, neighbors have stepped in to help the nurses here. Some quarantine allows the nurses to use this washroom for free. When they came here, there's no place for them to unite. That's why I prefer to help them. Nurses and patients want challenges facing the CHIPS compound addressed. Because there's, the, the clinic is not equipped, most of them go to Temajena Hospital, go to Ashiyama. So if this place is equipped, at the end of the day, they will not be traveling that distance and then it's going to reduce uh, uh, maternal uh, mortality in the, in the district. Also, uh, I would like to plead to the stakeholders, anybody who is watching us, it's not only the responsibility of the government. I'm appealing to government and health authorities to fence this facility for us because our children are not safe here. Water is a challenge in this health facility. I want government and health authorities to provide water for the nurses to work with. As a pregnant woman, any time I come here, I'm given a letter to go to Ashama and Tema in order to have my lab test done. This is not good. We also need an ultrasound machine here. Despite the challenges nurses working at the facility say, they are motivated to give up their best to provide quality health care to residents at Sakibidiako and its environs. We are willing to work, so we always try to improvise because we still have to give our care. And that's it for Mission. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.